Welcome to Misha. If you can hear me, please drop a comment below that you can hear me as well. If you can hear me, please drop a comment below that you can hear me. Hello, Janet. How's it going? How's it going? If you can hear me, Janet, if you all that's hopping on, please drop a comment below that you can hear me. Welcome, welcome. I'm just sharing this live stream around some Facebook groups to get some more people on. Alicia, how you doing? Awesome, awesome. Welcome to you, Alicia, as well. Welcome to everybody that's hopping on. We're going to dive in in just a second. I'm actually going to talk to you all. If you have a business or looking to start a business about how to get your website up and optimize it for maximum profitability. I actually have a private Facebook group called the Digital Marketing Revolution. Facebook group is a private Facebook group. And if you want access to the group, just shoot me a message and I can get you access to the group. But I had put a post up yesterday in our Facebook group, basically asking a lot of our members in the group to drop their websites below in the comment section of the post that I put up. And I took a look at some websites yesterday. And I just wanted to give you all some feedback for any of you all that may be looking to start a business or you already have a business. I just wanted to talk to you about the right way to basically have your website set up online and how to optimize it to get maximum profitability. And that's what I wanted to talk about today on this live stream. Welcome to all that's hopping on. Welcome to Delante. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you all can hear me as well, for everybody that just hopped on, drop a comment below if you can hear me. I'm going to share this live stream around in some more Facebook groups and get some more people on, and we're going to get started in just a minute. What's the name again? What name were you referring Oh, you're talking about my Facebook group. My Facebook group is Digital Marketing Revolution Facebook group. So any of you all that want access to the group, you can look it up on Facebook and it'll come up and search. Or you can just shoot me a Facebook message and I'll get you in a group. I share a lot of different marketing strategies on how to grow your business online in that group. We're real interactive. And I also already have some trainers in a group like on Facebook advertisement to get traffic, to generate leads, to get more customers online for your business. I already have some trainers in a group too. They're absolutely free trainings. So if you want access, just let me know. Or you can just look the group up yourself and request access, and we'll get you in there. How many of you all currently at this time is looking to start a business or you already have a business? Drop a comment below. How many of you all right now currently are looking to start a business or you already have a business? Comment below. Comment below. Comment below if you're looking to start a business or you already have one. Drop a comment below. I already have one. What type of business do you have, Jan? I see you have party rentals in your name on Facebook. Is that what you do? And for everyone else that's on as well, drop a comment below. I have one. What type of businesses do you have? Drop a comment below. What type of businesses do you all have? This is a perfect time to expose yourself to, to let people know what you do. 
Because there's people that always come back and look at my live stream. And by you all dropping in the comment section below what you do, you never know. Someone else may see what you do. They may need your product. They may need your service. And they may connect with you. It can be a potential customer for your business. So drop below. I'm asking you all to drop it below. So Alicia says credit repair. Okay, I work with a lot of credit repair businesses with lead generation online. I'm very familiar with that space. How's it been coming along, Alicia? I've worked with a lot of credit repair companies. I've been working with credit repair companies the last couple of years. Matter of fact, we just landed a partnership with a major credit repair company here in Atlanta. We're going to be assisting with that marketing. How's it coming along for you, Alicia? And welcome to everybody that's hopping on. Welcome to everybody that's hopping on. All right, so while you all drop a comment below on what type of businesses you all have and how they're coming along for you, because I definitely would love to know. Janet says, also internet marketing for travel giveaways, direct mail flyer program. Okay, got you. Yeah, I actually was in the travel industry myself as well, Janet. I was in the travel industry as well myself. What's going on, Monica? Good to see you on. So let's talk about tonight how to set your website up and optimize it for maximum profitability. Like I said, I actually have a private Facebook group called the Digital Marketing Revolution Facebook group. And so yesterday, I actually had put a post in the Facebook group asking many of our members to drop their websites below in the comment section. And so I got to evaluate their websites. And some of the websites look absolutely fabulous. They look great. Some of them look great, but they can use some tweaks. And so I thought it would be good for me to come on and go live to talk to a lot of the business owners that's within my network here on Facebook about how to properly set up your website. And for you all that don't know who I am, my name is Gerald Bass. I'm actually the creator and founder of the Rise of the 1%. There's two things we do. We actually have a digital marketing agency where we assist different business owners with generating more qualified leads, customers, and clients for their business online through automation, typically through marketing sales funnels, and through Facebook and Instagram advertisement. Also, we have a coaching and training program where we actually teach people digital marketing for the businesses, or we even teach people how to get into digital marketing to help other businesses. So that's primarily what we do. For you all, that may be this your first time actually hopping on one of my live streams. So Alicia says, it's going good. I partnered with a refer referral source since we last spoke. Okay, great stuff. Great stuff. Internet marketing and travel. Okay, gotcha. So we got a lot of internet marketers and people that travel on here. And Alicia's in credit repair. And say she just got a referral partner. Awesome. So for you all on here that are in network marketing, so I speak to you first. If you're in network marketing, I know they usually give you a company replicated site when you get involved with the business. Or even if you're in affiliate marketing, a lot of times they would give you a company replicated site that you can use to send your traffic to. If you're in network marketing for people to join your team or become a customer, or if you're in affiliate marketing for people to go over and take a look at your offers and potentially buy or join your program, et cetera. But one thing I would tell you is this, because I was a top earner in the network marketing industry. I actually was in that industry for five years. My last company, I had a team of well over 800 people in my group across the globe. I've trained people who made anywhere from 30,000 up to six figures in a year within that industry. Um, and one thing I tell you, and I'm gonna talk to you network marketers and affiliate marketers first, then I'm gonna talk to any other business owners that's on here. If you own any type of brick and mortar type of businesses or traditional type of businesses or e-com businesses, et cetera. But if you're in network marketing or affiliate marketing, one thing that you wanna realize is that if you really want to build big in that industry and you want to become a huge success, you're going to have to build your own personal brand. 
Okay, you're gonna have to build your own personal brand. And so with that being said, even when I was in the network marketing industry and I was a top earner, and I also was in affiliate marketing at one time, and I did fairly well with that as well, I also always had my own personal site branding my first name and last name. So you all wanna write this down if you can tonight. It's called You Inc. Y-O-U Inc. You wanna brand yourself, don't brand companies. People like to do business with people. People like to do business with people as well that have a vision, okay? You all wanna write that down, all right? So people don't necessarily all the time care about the company, care about the person that they're doing business with. So you wanna focus on branding yourself, first name, last name. So like I said, even when I was in network marketing, even when I was in affiliate marketing, I had my own website, geraldbands.com, which is I still have that site today, okay? First name, last name, all right? And then of course, even if you have a traditional business, a brick and mortar business, an e-com business, a coaching business, a consulting business, you have a digital marketing agency like us, whatever type of business you have, you're gonna need an actual website, all right? Because here's the thing here, when it comes to your potential customers and clients, a lot of times, what do they ask you for before they make a decision to buy with you? They ask you, do you have a website? All right, now when it comes to the setup of your website, I recommend on your website, at the top of your website, you have the name of your company, if this is your own personal company. And so if you're in network marketing, I'm talking about if you started your own company up under even that network marketing umbrella, you created your own LLC, right? Or even if you're not in that industry, you just have your own business, you have your own LLC or you have your own corporation, et cetera. At the top of that site, you need to have the company name or if you're branding you and you are the brand, then you need to have your first name and last name at the top of the website. Okay, that's the first thing. The next thing I would recommend you have is what we call a Wilfram statement. Okay, you want to write that down, a Wilfram statement. So Wilfram is W-I-I-F-M. That's the station that people are always tuned into. What does Wilfram stand for? What's in it for me? So when people come to your site, all they want to know is what's in it for me. And this is what needs to be on your homepage for your Wilfram statement, who you're helping and how you're helping them. And you wanna write that down. Who you're helping and how you're helping them. So who you're serving and how you're serving them. You want that on your homepage of your site. This is all you need on the homepage of your site. Why well, I see a lot of people go wrong is I was looking at a guy's website yesterday who was in our Facebook group and on his site, his site was real nice, don't get me wrong. He had his name up there, he had a nice logo. He had who he was helping, how he was helping them. But on his site, he also had his blog on his homepage. He also had his about me section and his about the company section on his homepage, right? He had testimonials on his homepage. He had his services on his homepage, contact information on his homepage. That's too much on a homepage. On your homepage, all you should have at the top of the website is your name. It can be your name if you're branding your first and last name or you're branding a company name the company's logo or your own personalized logo, who you're helping, how you're helping them. That's all you need on your homepage of a website. Now, at the top of that site, you can have different tabs that take your traffic over to other parts of your site to find out more about the business. So you can have a tab on the homepage that says about me or about the company. Right? You can have that on the home page okay and when they click there you can have a bio on yourself right or a little bit about your company with some pictures and stuff like that okay and then you should have a blog i recommend everyone have a blog on your site now people are not blogging as much as they used to in today's time uh people are not really reading blogs from what i've seen as much as they used to a lot of people are consuming more information through video so what I would recommend is if you're going to have a blog, and I recommend having one, is turn it into an actual blog. OK, 
okay, where you actually cut videos and you put those videos in the blog section of your blog on your site, but you still do a write-up of the things you talk about in the video, but just have a video in that blog and section for each blog you do, okay? Because people are consuming more video now than just text. Okay, let me go to, so Petrina says, thanks a lot, looking forward to listening to this soon. Gotcha. Nicole says, I need a website. Nicole, just shoot me an inbox, and we can have a discussion about it. Shoot me an inbox, okay? And if you all getting value so far, please show me some love. Show me some love. Show me some love. I don't want to go any further. If you all getting some value, you all learning something, uh, please show me some love. Let me see some hearts. Let me see some likes. Let me see something. <laughs> if you all getting some value so far. If you all getting some value so far, let me see some love. Let me see some likes. Let me see some engagement, please. Are you all getting value so far? Yeah, Nicole, just shoot me a message and we can have a discussion about it. Okay, so you have to have a blogging section. And I recommend a minimum of three blog posts, 500 words each. Blogs help when it comes to your website for search traffic, okay? If you set up your website and you have your website set up through WordPress, what happens is when you write up your blogs and you post your videos on your blogs of your content, okay, and content when it comes to blog is you're educating your audience, right? You're educating them around your products and your services. That's pretty much what a blog is. You're positioning yourself as an authority. You're positioning yourself as credible. You're positioning yourself as an expert. That's primarily the purpose of a blog. But when you write up this content, and you shoot these videos to put on your blog, the purpose of a blog, and a blog, I should say, is if you use the proper keywords, okay, you have to do what we call keyword research, and that's a training in itself. You have to do what we call keyword research using what they call a Google Keyword Planner. You put certain keywords into your blog and into your videos, you mention certain keywords, okay, that people are searching on Google every single day, around the topics that you're speaking on in your blog and in your blogs, guess what? Your blog can rank on Google. It can rank on YouTube as well, um, being video, okay? If you're using the proper keywords, meaning keywords that people are actually searching for on Google every day, they're searching for on YouTube, okay? So you have to become a little creative. You have to really brainstorm, okay, what would my audience be looking for on Google every single day, right? What would they be typing in on Google every single day? What would they be typing in on YouTube every single day when it comes to them potentially finding my products, my services, my business, my company? And so when you blog, right, or you shoot these videos and you put them up on YouTube and you mention these certain keywords that these people may be searching for on Google or YouTube, you can rank on the first page of Google or you can rank on the first page of those YouTube videos and that sends you more free traffic. That's organic traffic over to your site. Okay, so that's the purpose as well of having a blog and a blog is free search traffic to your site. Okay, so you definitely want to have that. Okay, so a blog is, like I say, minimum three blog posts on your website, 500 words each minimum. Okay, and I recommend a video for each blog. I definitely recommend that. Um, next, okay, being that you have products and services, you can have a product and service section on your website, okay? With information on your products, information on your services. If you're in coaching and consulting, you may have a coaching tab where people fill out an application and schedule a phone call with you if they wanna know about your coaching and consulting services. But if you have products and services, okay, you may wanna put those products and services on the site, all right, with the pricing. Now, if you're selling high ticket type of stuff, a lot of time high ticket stuff, I recommend selling over the telephone, not through a website. High ticket is usually products and services that's over $2,000. If you have products and services over $2,000, I do not recommend selling them on a website. I recommend having people schedule a phone call and you get on a call. But if you have products and services that's lower price than that, then you may can sell them through your site. You can test selling them through your site, okay? 
Another thing that I recommend you have on your website and also have a section for this on your website. You need a offer on your website. This is where a lot of people mess up on websites. Okay, and if you all are getting some value, feel free to drop comments below, show me some love as well as I'm going through this stuff. Katrina says, I was told to put a plug on website. I don't necessarily know what you mean by plug. Good, valuable information. Awesome. Thank you for sharing it. Show me some love, y'all. Y'all getting some value. Katrina says, on your live, I'm still here to stop what else I was doing to hear this. Yes, value. Wait, repeat that. Never mind, I got it. Okay. Yeah. I just saw you all's comments, how Facebook becoming, the comments becoming so fast, so pardon me if I didn't answer you immediately. Um, but what I was going to say is you need an offer on your website. This is where a lot of people mess up. I see so many websites every day as I'm looking at business on the site who we may bring on as potential clients, and they just have on their site, sign up for my newsletter, right? What does that mean? What type of value is someone get out of signing up for a newsletter on your site? So I recommend having some type of free offer, like give away some type of ebook, or give away some type of informational video, right? Or give away some type of cheat sheet, right? Give away some type of free article or report, okay? Give away a webinar, right? Like give away something of value to your audience on your website in exchange. Catch this, in exchange for them giving you their name and email on the website. Okay, so we call this a landing page. And you can actually have your landing page pop up out of your website as well. Okay, when people land on your website, you can have this landing page actually pop up off the site with your offer. Okay, and they have to give you their name and email to get access to that. Typos, gotcha. Okay. So for instance, for the lady that was in credit repair, your offer could be like the six tips to increase your credit score in the next 30 days or less, right? A free video reveals six tips to increase your credit score in 30 days or less. And for them to get access to that video, they have to give you their name and email in the landing page before they even view the rest of your website. So you now have captured that information. Now they have became a lead, okay? See, that's the thing. A lot of people don't have a way to generate a lead on their site. They're just sending traffic over to their site, but they have no way to generate a lead, okay? You got to have a way to generate a lead on your site and to be able to follow up with that traffic that visits your site. That's why you have to have a marketing funnel in place, okay? So that's another thing because you can integrate your marketing funnel with your website, okay? I know you all heard me talk about marketing funnels plenty of times on these live streams for y'all that's been on here. And for y'all that don't know what a marketing funnel is, a marketing funnel is designed to generate leads. My company, we build those out as well. They're designed to generate leads. And our funnels are designed to generate qualified leads, bring in phone calls or bring in sales online. And for those that purchase immediately, that's great. You're making money. For those that don't purchase immediately, because a lot of people don't buy on the first exposure, you have follow-up email processes in place that consistently market to them and provide value to them until they buy. Okay, and you can integrate a marketing funnel with your website. All right? So I wanted to share that with you. So you need an offer on your site, and you need a landing page, you need a funnel that can integrate with your website. All right? The next thing you need is you need a testimonial section. Okay, so any success stories or any proof of concept of your product or service working, you need a section for that on your website. Proof of concept is big. Okay, proof of concept is big. A lot of people want to see that other people have used your product or service and they've gotten results. They've gotten their problem solved. That helps. Okay, you need that. And I recommend today, this is something we're doing on our websites now. I recommend having videos in your testimonial session. You want to write that down. Videos. Let's say it, y'all. Videos <laughs> in your testimonial session. You want to think about it. You go to my site, and I'm selling a product or service, and my traffic goes over to the testimonial session, and they actually see a video of one of my customers talking about how the product worked for them, how the service worked for them. But they go over to your site, and on your site, 
You just got a picture of the person with a little write-up of a testimony they gave you. Who do you think they're more to believe, the person with the video or the person just with the image with the text? Comment below. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all tell me what do y'all think? Who do you think they're more inclined to buy from? The person who just got the picture in the testimonial section with the text of the person saying how great this product and service was, or the person that got an actual video testimonial of this person excited and pumped up like I am right now about the product and the service working. Video, absolutely. So that's what I recommend you do, okay? And get the video testimonial as soon as your customer or client gets results. Get it while they're excited, okay? I'm telling you, it works like a charm. And then the last section is the contact section on the website. You need a section where people can contact you. Name, email, phone number, hours of operation. Okay, and what I mean by name, email, phone number, them giving you their name, email, phone number. And on your website, you can have an office number if you have an office number, an email address for your company, and hours of operation. That's in the contact section. I do not recommend putting your cell phone number on your website. Entrepreneurs that are very successful up there give out their cell phone numbers. So I tell people all the time, like, I see a lot of people, especially in the network marketing industry, always posting their phone numbers on Facebook. That's a no-no. Let me ask you all this question. Do you all ever see Elon Musk, who's like the CEO right now of Tesla and CEO of SpaceX, you know, he owns PayPal and sold it. Do y'all see him putting his phone number on social media? Do y'all see Oprah Winfrey putting her phone number on social media? Do you see P. Diddy putting his phone number on social media? Right? Do you see Mark Zuckerberg, who owns this platform that we're on right now, putting his phone number on social media? Like, no. No successful entrepreneur likes people to embark their time. Okay? And so, with that, because they value their time. So, they don't just want people just calling them, right? What I recommend you do is have an office number where people can call, and if you got someone taking phone calls for you, or your phone calls can be forwarded to a voicemail or something like that, and you call them back on your time, that's what I recommend you do. Do not put your phone number online, period. I'm telling you all this. So that's what you got. That's what you all need. Like, that's what you need. And if you all get in value, let me see some more love. I'm dropping some bombs on y'all. People pay my company tens of thousands of dollars to share what I just shared with y'all. And another thing, this shirt here, proof, right? This is something that you can look into to add it to your website as well. I actually was out in Austin, Texas this past weekend at a mini chat conference, bunch of marketers out there, business owners, people that own agencies out in Austin, Texas, right? And me and my buddy, Marquel Russell, we was fortunate enough to be able to go to the proof office, okay? They're actually a software company and what they do is they provide social proof on different websites to help look increasing website conversions for different businesses when it comes to their products and services on their website. So if you all have ever visited websites before and you see on a website where they say someone just purchased a product or someone just purchased a service and you can see it on the website, that's what this company does, here, right? These are my guys. We actually got to sit down with them and, uh, have a great time at their office out of Austin, Texas. If you go on my Facebook page, you will see the pictures and stuff. It was cool. You all, I'm telling y'all, for you all that's serious about starting businesses or got businesses, if you don't take what I just shared with you and apply it to your business, I don't even know why you're doing entrepreneurship. Because honestly, like, I just gave you all the gold. Yeah, I just gave you all the gold. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. No problem at all. I'm going to go through it one more time before we close out. Website. Your, your name, your company name at the top. Logo. Okay, it could be a picture of you as well, being you the CEO of the company. Wolfram Statement. Who you're helping, how you're helping them on the homepage. 
You need an about me section, about the company section. I recommend, I recommend having a blog, at least three blog posts with videos, minimum 500 words in your blogging section. Okay, a section for your products and services or coaching application if you're doing consulting. Also, I recommend having a testimonial section, preferably video in a testimonial session, a contact session where people can contact you with their name, email, phone number. Also in the contact session, have your email, your company email, an office number, and hours of operation. It's that simple, y'all. Hope y'all got some value out of it. Look like y'all did. Feel free to share this live stream around with anyone else you feel can benefit, y'all. Feel free to share it around. Uh, for any of you all that ask me about websites, yes, my company does build out websites. We build out marketing funnels. We build out all that. Okay. We even build out chatbots now for some of you all that's been hearing about chatbots. I did a live stream about that yesterday. Okay. Messenger marketing. That's the future of marketing now. It's a software that basically creates conversations for your prospects within Facebook Messenger on complete autopilot. It's a bot. We actually build those out as well. Interaction marketing. So we do all that. And we do build our websites. So I know someone had commented saying they need a website. Just shoot me an inbox if you need a website or you need a funnel or you need assistance with marketing online, you need help with branding, any of that type of stuff, advertisement, getting traffic, generating leads, getting customers online, any of that, shoot me an inbox. Or if you're looking to get into digital marketing, if you want to get into digital marketing, and learn how to assist business with customers and clients acquisition online, which is a skill set that will pay you for a lifetime, shoot me an inbox on that as well. All right? If you're watching this on YouTube, as we'll be putting this on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm dropping more free training video content just like this. Keep making a difference. I will, Katrina. Thank you. I'm glad you all got value. Y'all have a wonderful night and a wonderful rest of this week on purpose. Y'all take care. Thank you for tuning in.